Hello everyone and welcome back to another custom die cast review. I just finished like nine custom die casts, maybe eight, because I don't think I'm going to review all nine because one's not really worth viewing. Uh, but yeah, so this is one of those like eight or nine that I made. Uh, a lot of people, I mean a lot of people, I mean a lot of Denny fans, which isn't a lot, but you know, <laughs> Denny fans out there are not going to like this one. If you don't recognize it already, this is the Pocono race win from 2022. If you don't know what happened and you're not a Denny fan, and you're, uh, fam, fam, I don't know why I said fam, fan, no, with an N, not an M, uh, you may be wondering, well, why is it so bad? If it's a race win, you know, what will happen? You know, why is it a bad thing? Uh, I don't remember why, but I know, I want to say it wasn't just Hamlin. I want to say it was like the top three or top two. Uh, got, I want to think it was the top two, but they got disqualified because of a, I'm assuming a modified part, and, uh, yeah, so Hamlin may have crossed the finish line first, got the confetti on the car, got to celebrate for the evening, but it didn't last very long because it did, uh, kind of just get taken away. Uh, I don't remember the exact reason, but I know he broke some rule, and a couple of them broke some rules, so... Uh, they did catch him on it, and uh, because of that, they had to take away his win. Uh, so yeah, that's why it's kind of a bad memory. But he re, you know, he proved himself again. He just won at Pocono uh, a couple days ago, so I figured it would be a good time to uh, make and review this car. I swear, if he gets uh, DNQ'd or not DNQ'd, but uh, disqualified again, that would be interesting. But it'd be very, very interesting. So. I mean, yeah, it's still a pretty cool car. I think I did add a little too much confetti. I don't think it was that covered, but it still had a decent amount on the car. Uh, and if you're wondering if this is going to be for sale or if it comes with any package, you know, at all, uh, the answer to both of those questions is yes. It will be on the bottom of Diecast eBay page in some wave sometime soon. Not too sure when, but this is an Authentics car, and I do have the Authentics card back. The reason I don't have it shown right here is because I've simply done nothing to it. I have not made the boxes yet, but I've made the car. So I feel like there really was no reason to show off the box when there's nothing to show off on the box. Uh, so yeah, of course, whenever I go to put it up on eBay, I will have, you know, customization to the box. The car is the same, but the box will be different. Also, today is going to be a day filled with race wins. Uh, this one, I don't know if it's the first one I'm going to upload, but this is the first one I'm doing out of three for the day. The other two is the Tyler Reddick Texas win and the Noah Gregson Darlington win. So they're all race wins, even though one of them is custom, uh, but they're all wins nonetheless. So let's actually go ahead and get on to this die cast here. You can see all the confetti. Now, don't make fun of my banners, okay? My name banners are not the greatest. I know that. And here's the thing. I know how to fix them. I know how to fix them. So all I got to do is on my printer settings, I have to switch it from a glossy paper to like a standard paper. The reason I have glossy on there as a default is because of my uh, decal sheets. I print off decal sheets and that is a glossy sheet of paper, so I have to do that to get the best quality. They're just the name banners. I don't really care for them. Like, I like them and I'm glad they're on the car because it's detail, but they're going to be a little blurry and I don't really mind too much, uh, just because I don't want to keep flipping back and forth between the setting, so I just kind of let it be. That's why I do that. Now, if you're wondering why I don't just do decal, it's very easy to waste a decal sheet. Uh, on these name banners unless I print several off at a time and I don't even know how much I'm going to need throughout you know my next couple I don't know uses uh, so it's hard to tell so just kind of leave it as is uh, but that is why so and decal paper is not a, uh, very cheap anyway on to the car we do have FedEx Express right here on the hood got some confetti now I did manage to find a way uh, to keep the confetti pretty colorful because before, I would uh, clear coat the car, sprinkle the stuff on, and then clear coat it again. And I think I used... Did I use a different type of clear coat? I think I did. I don't remember what I used for the clear coat. But I didn't use it as much. And it kind of kept a lot of that color. So I'm glad I did that. But I got all kinds of confetti there on the hood, on the windshield. I do have the Hamlin banner. Again, it's crap. I know. Uh, don't laugh at me for it. 
It's custom made. I made it myself. It does not look that bad on like uh, digital. It don't until it gets printed out. Then it's uh, not very good. But you know, it's okay. So we've got the 11 right here. We do have some confetti up there. FedEx Express. And we've got the Hamlin there on the banner. Or the back banner once again. Again, don't make fun of it. I'm, I'm trying, okay? I promise. Um, on the back end here, we do have the windshield or rear windshield covered in confetti. Got the deck lid covered in confetti, which does say FedEx. Now, for our confetti, we have red, purple, yellow, green, and orange, I believe, are the colors for the confetti. Very colorful. So, got a pretty good variety. Got a couple of specs back here. Not a whole lot. That goes for the race wear also. We got Camry. Uh, FedEx.com slash deliver Toyota. I got the uh, Camry logo, the TRD, got the 11 there. Of course, you got the tail lights with the pop burbits on the back of the spoiler. Over here on this side, we do have a little bit of damage and, and some confetti. So, some confetti on the quarter panel, sports clips, a little bit of you know, race wear around the wheel well. I got FedEx along the, uh, the side here with a little bit of race wear. Not a whole lot, but there's some there. Uh, Sherman Williams back tools and some little Arctic cat thing down there. Interstate batteries, TRD. You got the exhaust. On this side, you got the NASCAR Cup Series. You got the Goodyear logo. Uh, got the Goodyear tire. Moving on to the front end here. Oh, it almost rolled away from me. <laughs> got the front end, which has a little bit of confetti, not a whole lot. Do have some race wear. On this side, you got some more race wear. More confetti. Again, not a whole lot there. Uh, we do have interior detail and exterior detail. So we do have the. Uh, painted roll cage steering wheels painted gear shifters painted and the dashboard is painted it's just hard to see but you can see it uh in there you can see <laughs> the confetti uh from the inside of the car which is actually pretty cool window net is down more confetti a little more race wear uh more confetti on the back in here i got that big purple chunk i actually don't like that it's a little too big uh so i might have to remove that here later on but yeah so that's pretty much it uh there is no under carriage detail because they're just they don't have that anymore. I did uh, paint my glue spots black so it does match. Uh, but yeah, I mean, other than that, the tires were pretty clean. There was not really a lot of tire wear. Uh, there was no, like, tire markings. There was no, like, uh, tire tape or anything. So the tires were pretty bland on this uh, specific car. Which is kind of sad because, admittedly, I do like doing uh, the tire detail because, you know, it's really fun. I like, shedding the tires or shredding the tires, uh, painting the tires you know marking out some stuff i don't know i just i like doing it so it was kind of a shame that it had the clean wheels on this one uh but anyway that will be all for this custom die cash review again this will be available sometime soon i don't know how soon but in sometime in the near future it will be available in a wave on the ebay page for bottom egg diecast link in the description i do have some stuff listed uh not all of them are customs I've got like a very few customs that are uh, on there uh but then Maybe next week or so, I'll have another wave on there, so look out for that. But again, with that being said, that will be all for this custom die cache review. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.